Hey guys, it's Sarah the Fit Cookie, and I have another Bleem update for you. Um, Bleem seems to be the gift that keeps on giving. Um, I wanted to do another update on some of their business practices. They just released a new product called their Booty Boost Mask that just came out for sale on April 15th. Today is April 27th. This product has been on the market for 12 days. When I looked on their website two days ago, it supposedly had over 100 um, nearly five star reviews after only 12 days of having this product on the market and they are claiming to have over 500,000 happy customers for this product. Okay, so we are on the official Instagram page for Blame, and I checked this before. We're going to go through this. Uh, the first post that they have for the Booty Boost Mask is a product teaser post from April 10th. This one is announcing that they're getting ready to sell this product. First hashtag product teaser. We are ready to unveil our latest edition of the beauty world, April 10th. So we go up to the very next post, which is April 15th. And this is a post announcing that this product is now for sale. Get ready to show off your best asset with our newest skincare essential, Beauty Boost Bla Mask, not Blast. Um, first hashtag new product, and this is April 15th. Okay, so we are on the Bleem official Facebook page. Um, so we're going to scroll down. These are their latest posts. So again, we see that same April 10th post teasing the product. Um, so this is a product teaser post, ready to unveil our latest edition. And then the very next post is the April 15th post um, announcing this new product for sale uh, Booty Boost Mask, so April 15th, appears to be the date that this product was released. So we have already established that this product was released for sale on April 15th. Today is April 26th, which has been 11 days since this product was released for sale. And according to their website, already has 111, well, looks like five star reviews. So we're gonna go down and look at these reviews. Uh, according to them, they have 111 4.8 star reviews. Conveniently, none of these reviews have dates on them. So we're going to scroll down and see something interesting here. Sorry about the butts. Uh, if you don't want to see those, I apologize. So we look at this one here. It says, I just started using this product about four weeks ago. Hmm, that's kind of interesting because this product only came out 11 days ago not even two weeks ago. Not the only review that says that. Let's go to the next page. Next page of the reviews says that they have been using it for four weeks. And the next one says two weeks, even though this product only came out 11 days ago. Here's a closer look at some of those reviews. These are a few pages into their reviews, and I find it pretty funny that this particular page, every review on it is consistently four stars out of five. Like they're trying to make it more believable or something, but it's still pretty fishy. Um, wait, those two reviews are the exact same wording, even down to the misspelled word. Why are you always so suspicious? Shall I answer chronologically? Or alphabetically. So we're going to go back up here and look at a couple other things. This one says rated 4.8 out of 5 by 5,000 plus happy customers. Hmm. They only have 111 reviews, which I don't think are real anyway. So they're claiming 5,000 happy customers. But then we go up here and this one says... 175,000 happy customers. And then we come over here and this one says 500,000 happy customers for this Booty Boost mask that was released for sale 11 days ago. When you click on some of their product images, this one says self-assessment on 32 subjects after 56 days. Now, there may be a possibility that these reviews that were written were done by test subjects. However, we have a few complications here. So according to this, there were only 32 subjects, not 111. And when we go down to those reviews, no one has really mentioned anything about receiving a product for testing. 
So the FTC requires that if you receive any uh, product for free to test and review, you must disclose that in reviews online. So even if these people who were doing these reviews were doing them because they were beta testers or pre-launch testers, they're still violating FTC policy by not fully and completely disclosing that in their reviews. You have a material connection to a company by receiving a free product that is considered material connection, even if it is not financial, and you're required to disclose that. We have a couple problems here. Either these reviews are completely fake, which I think is most likely the problem, or they have beta tested, pre-launch tested this product and did reviews and haven't disclosed their material connection, which is also a problem. So either way you slice and dice this, it's a problem. We have sort of a problem here. Another thing I want to point out is that on their website, they literally use words like volumizing and volume, and some of the reviews mention making their butt bigger. Well, uh, you probably already know this, but creams, topical creams with things like caffeine or collagen or retinol, those things can uh, firm skin and it can reduce the reappearance of cellulite. However, it can't add volume to your butt. It can't actually add mass to your butt. It can't make your butt actually grow bigger. That's actually false advertising. Oh my God. Becky, look at her butt. So another thing I want to point out is I think that they completely overinflate the prices of their product. I mean, when you look at um, their hair eraser, and we pointed this out before, they sell uh, maybe like $39 a piece, and you can actually get those on Alibaba, pretty much the same one for like, I don't know, a dollar or less. Um, so they really overinflate the price of their product. This Booty Boost mask is no different. It is a jar of lotion. So you're probably better off going with a reputable brand. Um, there are several drugstore brands that sell similar products at lower prices than that that do work and are reviewed by actual people that have used it. So as an example of Bleem overcharging on a lot of their things, we're gonna look at their Gua Sha set. Um, this is inscribed with their logo, which is really easy to do when you order wholesale. Um, we're gonna look at a couple other images of their product here. This one's pretty funny because they're comparing theirs to other brands and it's literally the same exact thing. So we're gonna look at Alibaba where you can order um, basically the same exact product set for $2.99 to $7.99 for a set and you can get them customized with your logo, customized logo and customized packaging. Um, also, we're gonna go over to Amazon. You can basically buy the same set for $16. Bleem is trying to charge $39, claiming that it was marked down from $69 for this set. That's ridiculous. So let's take a look at the Booty Boost mask specifically. Now we're gonna address the size here. This says 80 grams, but this other image shows a jar with 100 grams, and it doesn't specify here how much you're actually going to get in this jar. So 100 grams is about 3.5 ounces, 80 grams is about 2.8 ounces. So you may only get 2.8 ounces in this jar that they're trying to charge $39 for, claiming that it was marked down from $59. So looking at the ingredients, they don't list the entire ingredient list. They just give you the active ingredients, which are caffeine, collagen, and grapefruit extract. So we're gonna look at a couple other lotions here. This Jergens Skin Firming Body Lotion has collagen and elastin, 16.8 ounces, $7.49 at Target. And we're gonna go down. And this also contains caffeine, collagen, uh, herbal extracts and elastin. So we're gonna go over to this other product which is a thicker cream Fab Girl Firm by Bliss. This is $24 for 5.8 ounces, 165 grams which is double the 80 grams you'd get from Bleem. And we're gonna go down here, look at the ingredients. It doesn't have collagen. I didn't see collagen on the list, but it does have caffeine, shiitake mushroom extract, botanical extracts like go-to cola, shea butter, and vitamin B5. 
The overpricing thing is really funny to me because when you go down um, to their the bottom of their website, their mission statement supposedly is um, to make hygienic care more accessible for anyone in need by overpricing your products. The next day. After I originally filmed the first part of this video, um, I discovered some interesting things about sale sale pricing, uh, which Bleem does all the time on their products. So this is actually considered false advertising to say that, oh, this product is on sale. We are gonna sell, you know, we used to sell this for 59, it's marked down to 39, um, but they've never actually sold it for $59 that's considered false advertising. And in the state of California, you had to have sold that it at the original price for at least three months or 90 days before marking it down and claiming it as a sale. Now I've suspected that Bleem has done this for quite a while, but because this new product, this Booty Boost mask is so new and it just came out on April 15th, we can prove that it was never sold for the original price at all. So we are back on the Bleem website on the Booty Boost Mask product page, and we can see this product was only released on April 15th that we've already established, and today is April 28th. Um, when I originally looked at this, it was uh, April 25th, so it was 10 days old, um, and they already had these sale, you know, this supposed sale, you know, you save $20, um, $39 marked down from 59. If you have not, never sold this product at the original price, you can't claim it as a legitimate sale. It's a fictitious original price, and that is considered false advertising. Why the fuck are you lying? Why? why are you always lying? So you might ask the question, uh, why is this even a big deal? I see companies doing this all the time. Well, companies have gotten sued for this, um, and the FTC considers it uh, fraud because it convinces consumers to buy a product that may be have artificial inflated value. And so we're going to look at a class action lawsuit against Udemy, uh, where they participated in the same same sort of thing. Udemy just uh, agreed to pay out $4 million in this class action lawsuit against them for um, creating these false, falsified original prices and fake sales, essentially. Okay, so now we're going to look at a case summary for Williams versus Udemy. So if you're not familiar with Udemy, Udemy is an online um, education website similar to Teachable. The original price is false, a false reference price. Um, printed with the strike through, which actually Bleem does the same thing, operates as a baseline that consumers rely on to assess a product's value. Um, and the original price merely serves as a false reference price utilized by defendant or Udemy as part of a larger scheme to deceptively manufacture deep discounts in an effort to incentivize consumers to make purchases. This is the actual case documents. Uh, same thing, they've you know, referenced in here, the false reference pricing, um, when a seller fabricates a false original price for a product, then offers that product at a substantially lower price under the guise of a sale. Udemy will pay $4 million to settle a case alleging fake discounts. And California consumers say Udemy used fake reference prices to compare to discounted prices, but never actually sold any at the original price. Using fake reference prices to run sales is illegal under both the FTC Act and California state laws. The FTC rules say that the former price needs to be the actual bona fide price at which the article was offered to the public on a regular basis for a reasonably substantial period of time. California's law says the former price needs to have been the prevailing market price within three months before the sale ads run. So just be very careful with this company and don't expect a whole lot. I have tons and tons of information in my blog post. Um, I've made a couple other videos on them. So check out those other videos and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying?